We are here at a very famous underwater volcano. It has a very unspectacular name. It's just called 950 North. Below us, you have the Earth's crust. Cold seawater can enter the Earth's crust because there are lots of cracks and crevices. Normal seawater is like sinking into the Earth's crust and is then heated up by the magma chamber and is then pushed through a channel and upside. But we also have areas with, we call it diffuse flow, and these travel uh, shallower. We uh, do not really fully understand how the animals that live there actually find this place and can come to this place. And uh, we want to study if they can not only travel through the water, but if they can also travel coming with the vent fluid to the actual vent site. You need to know the connectivity between the different habitats, the different environments. The more we know about everything, the more we can also protect it. What we custom designed and developed is a mesh box staining gadget, we call it. We first clean the area, get rid of all the animals that we see, and then we put a mesh box on top of this. We will deploy also some colonization substrate that will just help us to, to find things that have settled. Uh, a very tricky part is that we know that the area there is not uh, even. So the most crucial thing is that we can basically seal this mesh box to the bottom of the sea. A way to find out what animals we have not removed is to stain them. So we use red color that is non-toxic and that colors the animals. And the staining box is removed and the mesh box, we keep it there for like seven days approximately. During this time, basically, the, all the animals that would travel through the, uh, with the vent fluids to the place would be caught in this mesh box. If the animals had a stain, then these are the old ones. Or if not, then these are the new ones. It's pretty exciting, I have to say. <laughs> we have never tried it out. No one has ever tried it out. It's, we work in a tricky, difficult environment, but that's also the nice thing in science that you, you, know, you can do, like you're, you're constantly doing new things, but that's like, I think, yeah, I'm really excited about it. <laughs>that will really uh, increase our knowledge to find out what is the connection between the vent community and also the surrounding community that lives on the Bear Basalt or in the water to the subsurface community, how they influence each other basically.